because I like doing different things. I like doing different labs. I like trying different approaches. Did you read the lab? One thing I think I'll always remember about Milton High School would be the wonderful facilities for lab because I really enjoy doing lab here. The lab facilities for chemistry are great. So you have to wear your goggles on your eyes. You may not wear them on top of your head. Because I started teaching in Milton in 2006. So this is my 11th year. Now prior to that I taught in Danville. Prior to that, I taught in Virginia, Georgia, and South Carolina. A good day at school is a day when students are involved and they enjoy the class and they have fun doing the chemistry that we're teaching. I think a problem sometimes with teachers who've been teaching a long time is they do the same thing year after year after year. Um, I like to change it up a little bit. So I'm constantly looking for new labs things to do that make it fun. What inspires me? Hmm. I think when I see that my students enjoy the subject area and what really inspires me is when they decide to go further into the sciences, become chemical engineers, become pharmacists, go into health fields, go into nursing, physician's assistants, so when they stay in the sciences, I feel like that maybe I have helped them out and that they have found something that is interesting to them and will be a lifelong occupation. So See, if I were a student in a class, that would be a challenge because there are a lot of things I like. I read a lot and I'm a member of book groups, so we do a lot of book discussions. So I enjoy literature, um, but one of my first majors was art, so probably what I would enjoy would be going to an art class, probably two-dimensional art, either printmaking, drawing, or painting. So it's been a long time since I've done any of that. I actually taught it once upon a time, way back when I first got out of college, the first year. That's when I decided I really didn't like being a teacher and I was going to go back and do something else. But um, I think that probably would be something that would be interesting and fun. I remember one time when I was teaching physics, it was in Virginia, and I was a relatively new teacher. And I was um, discussing how circuit boards worked. So I actually had a radio that I had taken apart that still worked. I had it plugged into the wall and I was showing how the circuit board worked. But unfortunately, and stupid of me, I actually touched the circuit board and really shocked myself. <laughs> it was not a good experience. I think maybe an expletive may have come out there, but the kids all thought it was funny and they did forgive me, so that was good.